So, what to do now? With our newfound allies, we can trace Officer that Palmer. number. Yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? Does this phone number mean anything to you? Not really, but I can trace it for you. Trace it? Run the number, see who it belongs to. Within reason, anyway. Where'd you find it? I found it on George Austin's phone. Oh, we ran that number already. You did? Yeah. It belonged to Grace Church. Probably calling for donations or something. Yeah, or something. Hmm. Thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you know anyone named Michael? Um... You're gonna have to be more specific than that. Yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, he's gonna know about this, of course. Do you know if any of George Austin's neighbors died recently? It's not in any of the reports. Do you have a name? No, not yet. But she lived across from George. Can't you look it up that way? I can't, no. The way the system works, I can only look it up by the victim's name, not address. Sorry. Which is probably an imposed limitation just to give us something to do in uh, in real life i'm fairly sure they could search by the address but well, well anyway I better go thanks for the help sure all we needed was the clue about the about grace church um so Mr. Churchly Man, we are gonna have a conversation. And I almost mean that as a threat. Hi, remember me? Yes, and would you please keep your voice down? Sorry. I'm looking for information on the Grace Group. Grace Group? They used to meet here, in the basement. Some kind of self-help group? There are hundreds of so-called grace groups, and they all have meetings in the basement. You will have to be a bit more specific than that. Well, how about um, some self-help group involving an art dealer, a cop, and a random guy named Michael? But whatever. Do you know any Michaels? In my line of work, I know more than I can count. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Angels, Gospels, random biblical dudes. Yeah. Why, why shouldn't he? I checked with the police. This number belongs to a phone in this church. A man I'm looking for made a phone call from this number. His name is Michael. It's very important that I find him. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. Well, we might as well try. So there's this woman that might have died in a penthouse apartment. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. Big surprise. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you know, I just looked in my guide and you can sure actually you press for this. Michael who made a call from this church. Quite positive. Are you sure you don't know anybody named Michael who made a call from this church? Quite positive. Do you know any Michaels? In my line of work. Are you sure quite po Are you sure quite positive? Okay, maybe not through here. Aha. Uh -huh. Here is the uh Press the issue button. The telephone that uses this number, where is it? Why would you need to know that? Michael used the phone. Maybe he left a clue behind when he did. And he could have used any one of a dozen offices in our administration wing. Really? Over a dozen? Yes. So, if you want to locate Michael Cooper, you'll have to find another way. Aha! He slipped. Wait, Cooper? Pardon? You said Michael Cooper. Isn't that the gentleman you're looking for? No, I just said his name was Michael. So you did. Slip of the tongue. My apologies. It is quite late and I'm tired. You need to tell me who Michael Cooper is. I told you I don't know any Michael Cooper. 
Well, actually, he well, will not say thanks. anything more. So let's just safe. not bother. Now, pow enter the power of the Eagle machine. Huh. So Michael Cooper was a priest. Interesting. Indeed. I figured that was the guy around the uh, training center, but uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, exercise joint thing. Uh, well, well. So, what do you say to this, Excuse Mr. Me. Ullman? Yes. Michael Cooper. He's a priest too, isn't he? So? So, it's a pretty big coincidence, wouldn't you say? I... Um... Please stop lying to me. I'm not lying. You're not telling me the whole truth either, are you? I made a promise. He came to me scared, begging me to protect him, to give him sanctuary. He was ranting. I should have turned him away, but we roomed together at the seminary. We were close friends once. What could I do? You can take me to him. He's raving. He's mad. He, he says he's in a battle for his very soul. That sounds kind of familiar. Yes. Yes, it is. <sighs> he's in the school. It's closed for the winter break, so it seemed like a good a place as any to hide him. Here's a key. The entrance is around the corner. Please, do whatever you must. Just don't come back here. Don't worry. So, thrown out of a church. I suppose, with our record, it was only a matter of time. <sighs> the entrance to the school is around the block. Let's go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> about <laughs> being thrown out of a church. Um, actually, uh, I, I think it's a kind of a hilarious anecdote. Um, I... <laughs> actually triggered the uh, burglar alarm at a church once. Which I think is hilarious because I am a, really an atheist and uh, just <laughs> almost go out of my way to uh, stay out of churches because, well, I don't really think I need to be in, well, a sort of religious establishment unless I go there as a tourist. But I digress, we need to see Grace School right now. Okay, so here we go. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in uh. pastures. Hi. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores. Uh, me. this is uh. Leads me in the paths of righteousness for his Some walked out of the ordinary, the I believe. Seeing goes. No um, but actually, I am going to end the recording staff, right here. So uh, I will see you back in the next in episode, the and I will not have you a rant. My head with oil. My uh, at the beginning, I promise. Bye.